Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. <laughs> we daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope you'll come back tomorrow. Well, you heard the first clip of the vlog was our last wake up call at Saratoga Springs. But, good news, we have one more night here. We are moving to a one bedroom at the Beach Club Resort. We're, just, we're actually trying to figure out logistics right now um, with our luggage and such. It is raining, but rain, but rain doesn't stop the Brookharts, does it? It does, that's so cute. Nope, it does not. friend when kids wanna push the buttons in an elevator. Yeah. We're officially out of our room. I'm trying to refresh my MDX app to see if the Saratoga Springs will go away now and the beach club will pop up. Yeah. We were gonna take a minivan and just cart all of our luggage to, to beach club. But unfortunately this time of day it's like 11 and our location like none were popping up. Yeah, what we wanted to do was because they they'll Disney will do resort transfers for you, so they'll take your luggage from your first resort and bring it to your second. But it's like a big window of like three to five, like three to five p.m. plus the rain. It could be later than five p.m. Well, we couldn't get a minivan. So Sarah suggested taking a bus to Studios, and then uh, we just have there. like our clothes that we need for today for Yachtsman, just yes. in case. Because we're going to dinner at Yachtsman. Peter's bags. never been to the Yachtsman. I've Yachtsman. never been to Yachtsman. Should I get a ridiculously delicious sick? Yeah. Nice. So it wasn't exactly what we planned, but it's nice that like Disney still has this service. We just, we were just going to try and buzz and do a little loophole around that. Ooh, also, I have to change our park pass. Oh, goodness, Teddy. It is kind of sprinkling. And then we were going to go to Magic Kingdom. But we're gonna go to studios because of its proximity to the beach club. And like we do, though we want to spend time in parks, we also want to get the most of our single night in a one bedroom because that was a bigger chunk of points from our DVC to use. Yeah. Really nice room, so we don't want to like take advantage of our room. Right. Whenever it's ready. So it's more about, oh, studios right here. Ah. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, hi, Woody. a bit in Toy Story Land. So we ordered lunch and we're gonna peruse in here for a little. This is all cruise line stuff, guys. It's like a month and a half away. We will be getting on this cruise ship by hook or by crook. Yeah. Wow. Mighty shrimp. Oh, that one's so cool, Zed. Yeah. Wow. <gasps> More West Side Story. And these are from Disenchanted. That was perfect timing to do that show and right as we got out we were able to say we're here 
prepare our what do you see? Um, our Woody's lunch box and it actually like right away said come pick up at window two so Yay! We're we haven't had this in so long. Sarah's saved the day with finding a table, but here's her tachos. We also got a tomato bisque soup or a tomato Jamesy. Tomato this for Jamesy. There's my brisket. Got some potato barrels. I got a cup of Joe. Sarah got a Mystic, Mystic portal. portal Punch. And I got a Angry Orchard and we have a bottle of water because Sarah's mom would say we are the thirstiest generation ever. Yeah. Are you hungry, James? It is pouring rain. Jamesy's not happy, but we're making our way to shops. <laughs> almost lost the stroller. Yeah, Our umbrella go. broke. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I'm about to go into a puddle. <laughs> you have five seconds to guess where I am, what I'm doing. Okay. All right, Sarah was able to single rider um, Millennium Falcon while well, I have Teddy. It's in my teddy bear, bear, bear. It's in my teddy bear. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. You had a good nap. You're probably still snoozing. We're in this, like, cave that I've, I've oftentimes seen closed. So I wonder if they opened it because it was raining. I also got a blue milk with rum while we wait for Sarah. She's already at the front of the single rider line, so that's great. So our room is still not ready, which is fine. I'm not, this is the, one of the first times I'm not worried about, like, the room being ready early. Um, we need to change and get ready before Yachtsman later. But honestly, we grabbed one Genie Plus today just for one of our magic bands. Just because like, I knew with, with Teddy we wouldn't be like having to go on every ride together. Plus, we really want to do Alien Swilling Saucers, which Teddy can't go on. So we spent 22 bucks on just one magic band. So we actually have a 320 Toy Story Mania and a 340 Alien Swilling Saucers. And at that point, I will hope that our room will be ready by then. I'd be a little upset if it's not, because then we could walk over at like four to our room and get ready for a six o'clock dinner. Silly me, I think this is the shuttle port for the Skyliner, or the Galaxy Fancy Hotel. <laughs> I know nothing. So I've only been on Smuggler's Run one time before. We decided with the rain I would hop in the single rider line and it was less than a 10 minute wait. And the ride right now is like a two hour rate. Hour wait. So it worked out great. I'm an engineer. Um, that's what I was before so I hang out in the back. But yeah, this is something fun that I didn't expect to do while the boys are asleep. You will be intercepting a first order trade shipment of coaxia. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you are pulled that precious cargo. I was just about to say that. Pilot on the right, pull back on the stick to fly up. Could back in one piece, and I guess that is something. <laughs> Not a lot, but something. Welcome back to my time for you to go. Oh. He woke Hi. up from his nap. Hi. This is a murder party. 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 This is a solid spot for the rain. I realize what it was. It's where um, this galaxy's ship. Star Cruiser? That thing. <laughs> where that thing drops off, like shuttles people to and from Batu. Oh. That is a bumpy ride. <laughs> I'm a little woozy. I'm a little woozy. <laughs> I'm a little woozy. <laughs> Skills right here. Sarah trying to save the nap from James waking up while putting the vlog up while eating caramelized glazed almonds. In the rain, parent of the year 2022, and he might be awake. He might be awake. Let's see. 
I saved the net. Parent of the year war. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> <laughs> go, here we go, here we go. Almost perfect timing here. We're gonna meet Teddy's gonna meet Donald Duck, the main duck himself. Ooh, he's got that vibe going. Love it. Ooh, swivel. Spin. Hey. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, Donald! Are you excited? Are you ready, Teddy? You were like a little squib squib when you met Mickey. Oh, Donald with the swivels. Wow. There you go. Teddy. 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 Hi, Teddy. Hi. Hi, baby. First of all, that was an amazing meet and greet for Teddy and Sarah. And then as we're walking away, Sarah's like, how have I never seen this? Literal life-size <laughs> Bo and Woody so <laughs> statues. Cute. So I've cute. Never seen that. But I feel like usually they're represented as like not their actual size. Yeah, but I do more stockings. Oh. Um, the, the little statues they like they are activated by the Magic Band Pluses. I've just never seen that. We usually just go yeah. straight over. Which we don't have Magic Band Pluses. We might buy them for our January trip. Debating I have on it. No desire. You I really don't? don't? Know why. I kind of don't either, but I kind of want to buy... What if you just buy one? Well, I kind of want to buy like a different, actual, like normal Magic Band. Because I only have the colors, you have your princess one. Um, so now we're going to go check out the, the Christmas tree. Before our like back-to-back -back fast passes. Oh, I'm sorry. Lightning lanes. So I think I realized why. A way to articulate why Studios is the best Christmas party. Why? It's because it has a good representation of Christmas throughout the whole thing. Yeah, and I do think like this is our style too. Like our style of Christmas. <laughs> but when we were here the other day, it's funny, like Sarah and I didn't realize that like they weren't actually fully done putting up Christmas when we came. There was definitely a some. Lot. A lot. Yeah. But they've been putting up all the final touches. So we're gonna peruse. Look at that Santa right there. James is still snoozing and these are his lightning lanes <laughs> that we're about to come up to. If anybody knows Sarah, she knows she loves and misses the nostalgia of old Hollywood studios. So one of our favorite things to do is to come back by Pizza Rizzo's and Mama Melrose and just dream of yesteryear, have a good feel. James is still sleeping, which is like a... Yes, look at the Santa Claus. Whoa! Jamesy is awake, and we are going on Toy Story Mania. It's his very first time on this ride. Who do you see? Can you believe it? We're in Andy's room. Oh my goodness. You see? Oh, 
something like some acapella Christmas to get you in the Christmas spirit. Um, excuse me, Christmas Chip and Dale? Oh, get it, Dale. Get oh, Chip. Get it, Chip. Get it, Chip. Wow. Just a kid admiring some Mickey Mouse decor and Christmas overlays. Wow. Okay, we came into Yacht Club to get away from the cold. In the mood we just walked into, are you kidding me? The smell, the tree, the dim lights. Oh. This is why Crescent Lake is the best spot in all of Walt Disney World. Right? What? Right? Right? I do not trust you. <laughs> There's the pool. We will get in there somehow, some way, regardless of the weather. That's the whole reason we... Tonight or tomorrow. You never know. How many times have you guys seen us in the solarium at the beach club? Live streams, parts of the vlog, everything. Well, we're heading to the beach club, fourth floor. Look at Ariel, wow. All right, here's our tour. You walk into this big, beautiful opening because it's actually part of a lock-off series, so there's a studio over there. When you walk in there, you've got your little dining area. James is playing with the, the cabinets already to the beautiful kitchen. Full kitchen, stove, fridge, everything. So nice. We have beautiful TV, little bar area. What I love about these resorts, the one bedrooms actually have two balconies. So we've got this balcony. There's nursing in the living room, so I will show you that later. But when you walk into this little area, you've got shower, toilet, does the cool little connection here to a very nice bathtub that is almost the same kind as Grand Floridian one bedrooms. They have like suds that come up from the bottom to a closet. Look at that. They do in fact have a pack and play already in here. Whereas with the studios at Saratoga, you have to request that. So, usually this is open. I didn't realize this wasn't open to the bedroom. But here's the bedroom. Beautiful big mirror. Delicious TV. Comfy, comfy looking bed. A little desk. And the... Second balcony is what I was telling you about. And we actually have an amazing balcony view I think considering like that's the sol solarium the very front of the resort I don't think we'll be able to see fireworks like because they'd be like there I'm like maybe but it would be like the perimeter of them but beautiful we're only here one night we will stay here again I promise for more than just one night this was just something we wanted to splurge on to add on to get a better flight but absolutely Gorgeous. It's like a DVC commercial. People think it's all about the castle and the phantasmic, but it's about having a comfy couch for your babies to be friends on. <laughs> also, I just called um, Bell Services and Resort Transfer has completed. They have them, so they actually have our bags. They're about to run them up now, which is great because I actually need shoes from our bags for dinner. All right, we got. Let's get a fit check. Mom's got a cute dress, jean jacket. Wait a minute, those overalls look awfully familiar. Oh, a nice little surprise in the One Day at Disney book. Light up Crocs in his fancy outfit because, oi! <laughs> I almost got it. His other shoes got soaked, so. All right, this kid, this child needs to take a nap. He needs a nap, this kid. I should come to this gym. Oh, we're it's headed a, to dinner. We're very, we're very excited, excited to be going to dinner because we've been talking about going to Yachtsman for like over a decade. But our like, like end of vacation sadness is also happening. So this is just like the perfect cherry on top to like make us feel good. Yes. When we knew that. What should we get to eat for real? I don't know yet. Steak? Not... I think I want this. I think we're both getting steak. We're both getting a first course. Like that. Sarah's getting That's a tomato going. bisque. I'm not sure what I'm getting. No, I'm getting. lobster. Sorry, lobster bisque. Ooh. James is going to get want bread. truffle mac. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's 
Tenny Steakhouse, our table is ready. <laughs> Tenny's got it. Yeah, Tenny's got it. Here's the menu. So delicious. Their drink menu is quite large. James is coloring, being a good kid. Sarah's checking out the drink menu to see what kind of specialty non-alcoholics they have. There's so many drinks. It's like I the can't biggest wait. drink menu I've ever seen. I can't wait to dive in. Nojito. At the boardwalk, they I had an ojito, but they added some watermelon to it. This is just classic, what I like, with the mint. I got myself an old fashioned with the Knob Creek. I didn't clarify if this is the Disney Select Knob Creek, but my go-to like fine dining restaurant at Disney is do the Knob an old fashioned during dinner, and then after dinner, just order like a single or a double of the Knob Creek Disney Select. Yummy. Excuse me, sir. We got our sea salt butter, our roasted garlic, which Sarah's very excited about, and then some sourdough bread and some onion pull apart. Here is my lobster biscuit. It even has a little biscuit in there. Yeah. Here is the beef carpaccio. It looks like divinity, and I love the plate that it was served on. All right, here is my delicious prime rib with the potato leek gratin. Here's James's very delicious mac and cheese mashed potatoes. How do you know it's very delicious? Because it looks like it. And steak. As well as our half-made lobster and Sarah's New York strip. Mine came with a peppercorn sauce. Did Teddy just try the potato leek? And he gratin? did not like it. Oh, no. We'll give it a minute. Maybe try it again. He gagged. <laughs> Also, James is loving the steak so far. Well, zombied out. All right, I'm a sucker for a Joffrey's press pot. We ordered a, what was it called, a magical layers of celebration? Yeah, some sort of mousse delicious layer split. thing. I feel like today was a long day, but like, I feel like we're feeling the like compound of busy days for vacation. So I'm like... We're ready to have a relaxing night. We're not ready to go to bed. It's our last night. Ready to relax and soak in the resorts. All done. Just a little bit longer. Wait, you're gonna love the cake that shows up. There is the layers of celebration. Looks divinity. Look at those layers. Jimsy stopped because he was mesmerized by the gingerbread carousel. There's around here somewhere. We're supposed to meet in the beach club lobby. We'll go back to our room and decompress after the most delicious meal. Oh, you know he's pumping his guys all scurry on. Yeah! Look at that! Oh my gosh, look how cute he is. Also, my favorite thing about some of the resorts that don't have the like fancy on-demand TV interfaces is the ABD channel can just go 24-7. At a surprise meet stomach fill turn of events, I've convinced the entire family to attempt to get to Harmonious tonight before it happens in 15 minutes. All right, we're leaving with 14 minutes left, and all I want everybody in the whole internet to know is that Sarah was a little upset she didn't get to wear her Christmas jumpsuit, onesie, pajama set. Well, what do you do when you're running to Harmonious with 10 minutes left? You jumpsuit it up. What's the time? 8.58, two minutes exactly until showtime and we made it. So that's eight minutes from the elevator to right here. At, a, at an okay pace. So we definitely could have gone faster, but we... Okay, go ahead. <laughs> also, like for perspective, we're in the bridge between UK and France, and you're exactly perpendicular to the Stargate. You get like these barges, which has got the screens, but you do not see anything at all from that, that stage. And I, I really wanted to come to Epcot tonight to make it feel like, cause we're gonna come here tomorrow, but like nighttime Epcot, come on people. 
Phil Rosenthal style. Come on. What? Was that fun? Did you have fun, Jamesy? Yeah. Teddy. Yeah. Teddy, did you have fun? I think you did. I think you did. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shucks, look at that fire. I love it. <laughs> I've said a lot of dreams have come true this trip, but look at this right here. <laughs> We're going into the Gateway gift shop. Uh, They're ready for the candlelight processional. I wish we could see it. I know. I really wish they could tell you how many times you used it. If you'll ever be here Thanksgiving time, this is really cool. It's a pre-order Thanksgiving family to go meal. There's a family of four. All right, can I try to get this guy to fall asleep in a stroller with a hopefully not rainy walk around Crescent Lake. Gonna see if I can talk to any cast members about how they feel about they have a new boss effective tonight as Bob Iger is returning, JPEC is out. Look at these trees, I love them. Trees, garlands. Sarah said we're gonna make our house a winter wonderland when we we'll return. Beach Club is the next level magic. Did you guys know that? Next level magic. Like that kind of just like sweet, hits you in your heart, cozy, kind of holiday, Disney from the 90s, M memorable magic. <laughs> Back to the elevator. Both kids are asleep. It's like 11.20 at night. I think we're gonna spend the last few minutes of this last full day of vacation out here on this very cool, it's like 53, rainy, but beautiful balcony at the beach club. Though it is sad it's our last full day, our flight is until 9 p.m. tomorrow, so we actually have a full day. I told Sarah, like, we don't even have to be back at this resort for our bus to pick us up until after nightfall. That truly is a full another park day. But it's still a sad. But I'm also excited to see Evie, because I miss her daily. But it's sad we won't be in Florida tomorrow when we go to bed. But we're gonna enjoy this last little bit of time tonight before we go to bed. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.